So, as you know, RAY stands for Resource Acquisition is an Idealization. Simple, easy, everybody knows what that means, right? Right? It has to do something with resources and how we prepare them for use? Well, not really. This acronym isn't great to explain what the concept is about, but we'll get right down into the nitty gritty details and I'll tell you all about it. Hi, I am Smok and this is Quick Answer. Right. RAI is about proper management of resources, both in normal flow and in case of exceptions. Let's start by defining what resources are in this context. We're most worried about resources when they are big or costly, so often that you'll find examples mentioning databases and file handles, or big chunks of memory. Truth is that even a single bit can be expensive if it's mismanaged enough. So, our resources are also objects that get created, or even such an ephemeral thing like locks held on mutexes. Now, why do we worry about managing these things? Simply because when one bit of code is using a limited resource, another can't. Imagine a situation where you forgot to release an exclusive file handle after you're done with it, and now you're trying to open it again. You're not in for a good time. Same thing happens when locks or memory that isn't being freed back to the system. Many languages have dealt with memory management by use of a garbage collector mechanism, which is responsible for finding unused objects and destroying them automatically. However, things like locks, database connection and file handles are still limited and need to be dealt with. Things can get especially tricky when exceptions come into play. Here is a scenario. You open two files to write from one to another. First opens fine, but second throws an exception. Now you have to remember to release the first handle. Languages like Java or C Sharp will allow you to do it with a try, catch, finally. You'll put your cleanup code in the finally block. What about the languages that don't have this mechanism, like C++? What about situations where you have multiple exit paths from a function? Before every return, you will have to explicitly free your resource. And we know all how forgetful you are. Here is where Rai idiom is really shining. It is primarily used in C++ because of the language's memory management model. But you can adapt it in other languages too. RAI is about wrapping the used resources in an object that allocates the resource in a constructor and frees it in the structor. Because in C++, destructors are called immediately when an object goes out of scope, you're sure that no matter how your function exits, it will call the destructor and release that lock, memory or file. You're covered in case of unhandled exceptions, rethrows, multiple returns, and reaching the end of the function. RAI is a powerful mechanism that will take the resource management off your back. C++ has multiple wrapper objects that use this behavior. Most commonly seen is a string. Inside this class, there is a pointer that can store long strings on the heap. And you can be sure that when string object goes out of scope, memory from that pointer will be freed. Other advanced scenarios include things like log guards for mutexes. It's more great fun. Rai works perfectly in C++, but can be seen in Perl, Visual Basic, or even garbage collected C Sharp. All you need is a mechanism to control the lifespan of an object. Now you know it all. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.